Hi, this is David. Today we are reviewing the adjustable float arms from WeFind. I've been using them during the last month and before we dive deep into how they work, I just wanna say I'm super happy with them. The concept of deciding at any point the exact buoyancy that you want with the different rigs that you can use on the water gives you so many advantages. What is so special about these float arms? What if we could decide at any point the buoyancy that we want depending on the rig that we are using on the water? Well, this is possible and this is how they work. When we jump in the water, these are as positively buoyant as they can be as they are full of air and they can lift up to 520 grams. The moment that we start pressing this button here, water will start to enter the float arm and less buoyant it will be. It's the same as saying that the more we start pressing this button for the water to come in, the more negative the float arm will be. This system is actually the most accurate way to make your camera rig perfectly buoyant. There are two important things to consider here. The first one is that we can add more water by pushing this button, but we cannot release any. In terms of buoyancy, this means that we can make this thing be more negative, but not more positive. If we need to repeat and go back to reset the buoyancy that we want, it will be necessary to go back to the surface, open the float arm, release the whole water, and close it again to start the process again. I would recommend that after every dive, open the float arm, release the water, rinse it with fresh water and let it dry. The second thing is that the way to see that the water is coming in to the float arm is either by seeing the bubbles going out and sometimes you can actually feel and hear that the water is coming in. Don't panic if you don't see those bubbles. Sometimes when being very shallow, the mechanism takes a little bit of time to work properly. So the water gets in pretty slow. Take your time, go around five meters, 15 feet deep, and you will see that the mechanism works a bit more fluently. So why do we need float arms when shooting underwater? The ultimate goal is to get your underwater camera rig perfectly neutrally buoyant. In my opinion, as a diver, as an underwater shooter, I've seen that using float arms is so important and I found five reasons why I think that this could be really helpful. The first one, feeling comfortable in the water. Sometimes depending on the lens and port system that we're using, our rig, our underwater rig can be very, very negative or very positive. That ends up, especially on longer dives, being very uncomfortable because we either have our camera system going, sunking into the bottom of the ocean are going all the time to the surface. So it's very important for anything that we need to have our camera rig perfectly stable next to us. The most important one for me, steady shot. As an underwater shooter, we try all the time to have as stable shots as possible without having to work on them on post -pro. Trying to achieve that perfectly neutrally buoyant system so we just go along with the camera. Instead of trying to control it or fight it, it's gonna always help us to achieve that perfect and nice steady shot. Neutral, but also straight. This is the third reason for me. Usually when using bigger dome ports, due to the amount of error that it's found inside it, the cameras will tend to face up. Could be perfectly neutral, but the camera is facing up. The way that we position themselves will help us not only to achieve a neutrally camera rig, but also to keep it straight. Number four, safety when we're diving. Adjusting our diving equipment, helping out a dive body, or any situation where we need both hands will be easier with a neutrally buoyant camera rig. And last but not least, support your underwater lights or strobe. Like any other regular arm system, these will provide you to support your underwater camera lights or your underwater strobes. That's everything from me. I hope some of this information can help you at the time of buying underwater float arms. I think they're really important and I just want to highlight that it's so cool to have an item that can help you decide the exact buoyancy that you want at any point.